Last question on here says, why does Dawn say to never get an iron infusion? Well, I can imagine that you never get an iron infusion because you just consume iron in the way that it's meant to be consumed and you don't need to get an iron infusion. You reduce inflammation of your gut, consume the right foods, then you're going to get the iron. Now, if somebody's in a life or death situation, there's been a lot of people that need to have like blood transfusion. And my father actually recommends drinking like a liter of fresh organic grape juice, red grapes that mimic red blood cells that are high in vitamin C and high in iron, which are the components that are needed to absorb iron. Uh, now what he'd have people do is actually take out the yolk of like a free range, hopefully healthy chicken's egg, two to three yolks and mix it in with that grape juice and drink it. And I've seen blood tests of people that go from low iron, low hemoglobin, like really bad levels to drinking that one time within 24 hours, their iron levels and hemoglobin are up massively. So, you know, my dad's just like this amazing genius. I don't know where he gets this stuff, but it works. I've seen people in hospital do it and it works. Um, and essentially, that's the way. Now, my opinion is like, if, if you even try that and you're doing everything and it doesn't work and you're going to die, like have an iron infusion. Um, but again, you know, those types of situations of getting an iron infusion and, you know, all these different things are like emergency situations.